Now, motion is just one thing. It comes in different types. We have all seen different kind of motion in everyday life. A swing, a ball bouncing, a seesaw going up and down, a monkey swinging from a tree, a boat gently gliding through a river, or someone cycling down the street. So how do we actually classify all these type of motion? Well, there are several ways to classify motion and today we are going to look at one specific way. A classification based on the distance of an object traveled in a given interval of time. Sounds interesting? Yes, it is interesting. Let's take the example of a car moving along a straight line. Nothing fancy, just straight ahead, right? We are going to measure the distance it travels and the time it takes. All right, let's start. At 0 seconds, it's at 0 meter, then 5 meter at 5 seconds. 10 meter 10 seconds 15 meter 15 seconds and 20 meter 20 seconds and the car is back now if you look closely in each five second interval the car covers five meter you see first five second five meter next five second five meter again five meter again uh, five meter yes let's make this clearer by putting the data into a table right here we go all right, the table is ready, distance in meters, time in seconds. From this, we can clearly see that for every five seconds, the car is traveling five meters. Do you see that? So what does that tell us? It means the car is covering equal distance in equal intervals of time. And when that happens, we say the object is in uniform motion. Now, let's take another example, this time of a van. Let's see how the van moves over time. Here we go, first 5 seconds, 5 meters, 7 meters, 10 seconds, 15 meters, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, it is at uh, 16 meters, and the van is back. No, it's not back, alright. Let's break down how much the distance it covers in each interval of time. The first, say, 5 seconds, 5 meters. Next 5 second interval, 2 meters. Next 5 second, 8 meters. And the last five seconds, only one meter. All right, like, let's, let's just put it back into the table of distance and time. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look at it again. In equal intervals of time, that is five second interval, first it travels five meter, then it travels only two meters, then it travels again eight meters, then last five seconds, only one meter. So what do you see here? In each equal interval of time, the distance covered keeps changing. That is, the van is covering unequal distance in equal interval of time and this is called a non-uniform motion. So to sum it up, uniform motion, equal distance in equal time, non-uniform motion, unequal distance in equal time. Simple as that. Now let's look at the problem given here. We are given a table that shows the distance traveled by the two objects A and B at different time intervals. Our task is simple. We need to examine the data, figure out which object is moving with uniform motion and which one is moving with non-uniform motion. And most importantly, we need to justify our answer using calculations from table. And it's not just about guessing. We need to look at numbers and use logic. All right, let's get into it right away. First, let's check the time intervals. They are pretty clear. First two seconds intervals each. Okay, so yeah, equal intervals of time we have on the table. Now let us look at the distance covered by object A during each of those two second intervals. First two seconds, eight meter. Next two seconds, eight meters. Again, eight meters and again, eight meters. So what do we see here? Object A is covering equal distance in equal intervals of time. And based on our definition, this means the object A is in uniform motion. Now let's move to object B. Look at the distances it travels in the same two second interval. First two second, eight meters. Next two second, 12 meters. Then 15 meters. And finally just five meters. Clearly these are unequal distance in equal interval of time. So what kind of motion is that? That's right, non-uniform motion. So to sum it up, object A covers equal distance in equal intervals of time and hence we can say that object A is in uniform motion and object B covers unequal distance in equal interval of time and hence we say object B is in non-uniform motion and that conclusion is based on directly on the values from the table no guesswork just observation and calculation so yeah this is one of the way of classifying motion based on the distance traveled in equal intervals of time as uniform and non-uniform simple right yes we'll explore more ways to classify motion in the upcoming videos